So a lot of people have been asking me about DaVinci Resolve 18. It's still in beta, so should you download it? Should you use it? Is it safe to use? And which of the versions should you get and where do you get it from? And how do you even install it? So I thought I would make a short video about that. So let's jump right in. So the first thing you want to do is go to blackmagicdesign.com and on Blackmagic's front page you're going to find a link to DaVinci Resolve 18 and it will take you to the DaVinci page and here you can see a link that says download the free version or the studio version, doesn't matter which one you click, it will bring you to this pop-up page. And on the top you have, on the left hand side, the Rinci Resolve 18 Beta, which is the free version in Beta. And on the right hand side here is Studio 18 Beta. Don't download the Studio version if you don't have an activation key or a dunkle, or else you're going to get watermarks on your effects. And below here on the left you have the previous version 17, has 17 Studio, which is the paid version. Now. I would recommend if you have any active working projects that you only use the, the finished versions, the ones that are out of beta, which would be 17, or if you have the paid version, Resolve Studio 17. But if you don't have any active working projects, I found that the 18 um, beta version, which is now here in July 2022 at beta 6 is very uh, stable. I don't have any issues with it. So if you don't have any active projects, I would encourage you to try and download that. And um, yeah, it's um, it has a lot of new features you can check out, uh, which version 17 doesn't. You pick your operation system here obviously and then you fill out the details and you click download so the installation process is a bit different from windows compared to mac on mac you get one installation file or installation package that installs all the utility programs that comes along with davinci resolve on a windows you get the option to install the control panel setup but if you don't have a hardware control panel you don't need to install that just install DaVinci Resolve like any other program or any other app. So yeah, let's get to it. After installing DaVinci Resolve and you open the program, the first thing you're going to see is the project manager window. And if this is your first time installing, you won't have any projects. So you can open a new project and let your creativity rename that one. I'm going to call my the, my first project, click create, and that will open up DaVinci. And uh, the first thing you want to go is here in the project settings. And you want to set your, your project settings on the left hand side. You have to tap for master settings, and this is where you will find your timeline resolution that you will set up here and your timeline frame rate. Under this, you have video monitoring. If you have an external monitor, you can set the query correct settings for that. Then you can go to color management and decide whether you want to work in a color managed or non-color managed workflow. Set your appropriate settings and click save. And from here on out, you just go to media page, import your media, have fun. <laughs> 